Lud's first game up after such a long pre-season. I bet you're chomping at the bit to to get out there on Saturday. Yeah, like you know, we've we've like you say, it's a long one. Um, all the off season and then into the Prem Cup, which has been really good, gone really well for us. Um, everyone's played in that, so everyone's buzzing. It was it was always going to be a tough Monday with with a selection coming up. Um, but yeah, the whole squad is absolutely buzzing to get back to King's Zone for Premiership rugby. Yeah, you mentioned the amount of boys that have got game time in that Prem Cup period. How important is that going to be for the season and not just this season, the future? And as a yeah, whole? It's, like you say, it's huge. You look at teams that, that win the Premiership, and more often than not, they've they've used, you know, thirty thirty odd players. So it's um, it's crucial that everyone knows they can step in. There's a lot of confidence in the squad now. I think every position has you know, at least two, if not three, people fighting for it. Um, like genuine competition. Um, and like you say, a lot of those boys are really young. So like looking ahead in the future, it's, it's brilliant for the club. And, you know, all, all these homegrown boys coming in and, and doing really well is is what we're about at Gloucester. Yeah. And it's not like they've just stepped up to make the numbers up, is it? They, they've come up, they've played well and ultimately won five games out of five. Yes, yeah, definitely. You know, everyone that's played in, in that Prem Cup, whether they've been young or old, they've, they've gone out there with, with a job to do. And the coaches were, were very, you know, honest with us at the start of the Prem Cup and said, look, these are the minutes you're going to get. This is where you're going to play. Barring a, a few injuries, it's sort of stuck to that. Everyone's played a, a fairly same amount of game time. Um, and it's it's one of those things. It's gone absolutely brilliant. Club's got a home semi-final, which is you know great for us and great for the club as a whole. Yeah. How much can you take that confidence into the Premiership season? I, th I think it's massive, yeah. Like the trust in, in all the boys and knowing that the plans are working, you know, all, all the stuff we work on really hard for the first sort of 12 weeks of pre-season. Once you put them into a game, you never really know how they're going to work. So it's 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 brilliant confidence booster to take that you know the stuff's working, you know you've been working in the right sort of ways, and and to take that into this Saturday, which is is going to be huge. And obviously on the game itself, then obviously Harlequins is always an entertaining fixture, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, hopefully it's not too entertaining. You know, we we want to get out there, score some points, and hopefully they don't score too many. Um, but it's it's one of those games you you never really know what's coming because they're that sort of unpredictable side. They've They've always got a few jokers up their sleeve and we'll be we'll be looking out for those. But um I think biggest thing for us is, you know, first game in the premiership, people are always gonna have stuff being held back from, you know, what they've done in the Prem Cup. So it'll be making sure we're aware of everything and concentrating on ourselves. Yeah, and obviously with the likes of lights coming in over the off season, being a bit of a change of style. So you sort of got used to that over the Prem Cup and how much you're looking forward to inflicting that on your off Yeah, no, it's it's great as as Somebody who's probably more renowned for being a defensive player. It's been it's been hugely educational for me, just learning more about attack and how to do it and how he sees the game and stuff. Is it's been really really eye opening and, and learned a lot. And I think I think everyone's learned a lot, which is huge because the understanding of the game now is is probably very different to where it's been over the last few years. Um, and it's it's hugely exciting because you look at the plans he's got and what he wants to do with the squad of players we've now got. It's it's really really exciting of where it could be. Yeah, and there's obviously a really good buzz in camp with it being the start of the season and also those things we've just talked about as well. So can you give us a sort of insight into how the group are feeling? Yeah, I say I think everyone's just, just really excited to get going now. You know, it's you've parked that bus of, of the Prem Cup, it's done, it's now a new challenge and you know, if, if we're honest about it, it's it's the big one for us, isn't it? It's the premiership, it's what everyone wants to win, it's the longest competition we have all season, it's the one that by the end of it, you know, you've had to work really, really hard for twenty odd weeks to get there. Um so it's it's the one we're looking forward to. It's the one everyone you know everyone deep down cares about, and that's where we're we're going to get. An opening day at King's Home in front of the Gloucester fans. It just doesn't get much bigger than that, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, having having a home game first is always you know you always look forward to that, especially here. You know this place has been rocking in the Premier Cup, and and you know it's going to go up another level again for the Premiership. And hopefully the weather's good, we can get out here and, and play some a good brand of rugby and, and get the shed behind us. How much has it meant to you to represent Gloucester and also represent the boys that you've played with? Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's something that it's probably something I wanted to do, you know, for a while. Been, been given a few, you know, before I got given it full time, got given a few for sort of Prem Cup games, LV games, that sort of thing. And it's something I wanted to do because I wanted to do it right. I wanted to do it properly. I wanted to to do what I felt like a Gloucester captain should be in terms of give all the values that this club's about, you know, hard working, down to earth, willing to fight for everything. Um, and, and you represent those people that, that line the shed and the stands each week that, that don't get the privilege to do it. And that's what I've tried to do. Hopefully it's worked. It's something that I, I do pride myself on, both on and off the pitch, like I say, representing this club. And hopefully I can do it another couple of hundred times. That'd be nice.
and obviously you've got the chance to work with some of the young younger boys, a few young captains recently as well. So how important is it to you that it's not just your legacy here, but pushing those boys on to, yeah, to reach like that, even that's bigger? probably the biggest thing for me is is that I, I don't. It's like you don't want. Oh, he's captain. I'm not going to help him. I, I love these boys to you know come through because as a captain, it helps you so much when you've got other captains on the pitch. You like you play with people. You know, I've, I've captained with the likes of. Ed and Billy on the pitch, who have both captained the club, and it makes a huge amount of difference when there's three or four of you seeing the same pictures, making the same decisions. Sometimes you see things a little bit differently, so you get a broader aspect of things. And the more we can do that with the younger boys and and get those boys a bit more confident, there is going to be a time where, you know, you have to retire. So and hopefully that sort of legacy comes through, and they can they can build on that and, and get better and better.